morning students let's continue chapter 1 today i am going to cover three concept null set finite and infinite set and equal set so let's start first null set a set which does not contains any element it means student if there is no element in a set then it is a null set okay and it is denoted by denoted by either this curly bracket or this is five symbol of null set okay student and null set is also known as empty set and void set let's see one example of null set okay let a is a set set of x such that x is greater than equal to 2 and less than 1 x is natural number now do you know any number natural number less than 1 and greater than equal to 2 there is no any natural number like this student so a is a null set okay and next is finite and infinite set a set which contains null set okay and definite number of elements it is known as a finite set otherwise it is a infinite set so for finite set a set which contain five or definite number of elements okay it is a finite set and next is equal set two set suppose a and b are equal if every element of a is in set b and every element of set b is in set a it means that both set has equal and same element okay so if a and b are two sets then a would be equal to b if all elements of a are in b and all elements of b are in a okay then only a and b are equal sets okay student now continue exercise 1.2 and it will be more clear let me take my test book student you also open your test book the first question is set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 so student set of odd natural numbers you all know 1 3 5 7 and so on no element is divisible by 2 okay students no one is divisible by 
therefore the given set is null set okay so it is a null set next is set of even prime number student let it is set a okay i hope you all know about prime number prime number has only two divisor one and itself and the element prime and even also so it is a two only okay student so set a has one element it is two so it is not a null set okay not a null set but it is known as singleton the set which has only single element is known as a singleton set okay and now next is set x such that x is natural numbers okay and x less than 5 and x greater than 7 it is a null set no number is like this which is less than 5 and greater than 7 so it is also null set now for for why is a point common to any two parallel lines student if there are two parallel lines line l1 and l2 there is no common point parallel lines doesn't have any common point so it is also null set okay now move ahead question is set of month of a year student how many months 12 months okay we can count and these are the definite numbers so it is a finite set next second is given student set let it is a here 1 2 3 and so on okay so this type of set there are so many numbers infinite number so it is infinite set third is 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 okay and okay so it is understood that set b has 100 elements okay so it is a finite set okay students you write in your notebook it's a finite set okay and it is infinite next the set of positive integers greater than 100 positive integers let it is c greater than 100 it means 101 102 103 and so on okay these are many numbers so many numbers so it is also in a five nine set okay students next is the set of prime numbers less than 99 this type of set it is a finite set okay since this set has the finite numbers next question number 3 state whether each of the following set is a finite or infinite set of lines which are parallel to x axis okay students here what do you think about this set of lines okay which are parallel to x axis okay suppose student in coordinate you know its x axis its y here y dash and its x dash okay parallel to x axis suppose this is one line another line 
एंड सो देर मे बी सो मेनी लाइन्स पैरल टू एक्स एक्सिस सो इट इज इनफाइनाइट सेट ओके नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ लेटर्स इन इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट I think everyone knows it is finite since there are twenty six letters only. Next set of numbers which are multiple of five. Multiple of five students. These are infinite number. Okay, not definite numbers. So it is a infinite set. Set of animals living on earth. Set of animals. Living on Earth, it is a finite set. Okay, and next set of circles passing through the origin zero zero. Okay, it is the fifth part. Here is students left. It is a origin zero zero. X here Y and Y. One circle passing through. it may be here also okay and like this so many circles there may the circles passing through origin 0 0 so it is infinite set okay student and now move ahead fourth question fourth is In the following set, state whether a is equal to b or not. Here, student, first, a is given, a, b, c, and d. For b, it is given, d, c, b, and a. These are equal set. First of all, students see number of elements in both sets are equal. There are four elements: one, two, three, four. Here in B also one, two, three, four. And the order doesn't matter, student. Okay? We can write here D first and then B. So order doesn't matter. Number of elements equal and same. Here A in the set A in set B also element A. Here B also in set A, C also in set A, and the same as here, student. So A is equal to B. Second part. Here, student, A is four, eight, twelve, and sixteen, and B is given eight, four. Sixteen and eighteen. These are not equal. Number of elements are equal. Here four, eight, twelve, and sixteen. But in B, it is eight, four, sixteen, and eighteen. Eighteen is element of B set, but eighteen is not in set A. Okay, and twelve, it is the element of set A, but it is not belongs to set B. So here. A is not equal to B, not a equal set. Next, student. Here, third part. A is given two, four, six, eight, and ten, and B is given X such that X is Positive even, positive even integer, integer and x is less than equal to ten. Okay, students. So now write first b in roster form. It would be easy. Student x is positive even integer. Even integer. It means first is two and next four, six and eight. Since x is less than equal to ten, so it include ten also. Okay. And now see a 
एंड बी बोथ हैव द सेम एंड इक्वल एलिमेंट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू बी ओके नाउ मूव अहे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज स्टूडेंट आर द फॉलोइंग पेयर ऑफ सेट्स आर इक्वल हियर ए इज गिवन टू थ्री एंड बी इज गिवन एक्स सच दैट एक्स इज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट राइट बी इन लिस्टिंग फॉर्म स्टूडेंट इट वुड बी इजी ओके सो वी हैव टू डू द फैक्टर ऑफ दिस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिट यू ऑल हैव बीन स्टडिंग स्टैंडर्ड टेन ओके सो हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इट वुड बी एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री एक्स टू एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो स्टूडेंट एक्स टेक कॉमन यू विल गेट एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड फ्रॉम हेयर टू टेक कॉमन एक्स प्लस थ्री ओके इट इज जीरो एंड वी विल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू टू फैक्टर्स हेयर एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड एक्स प्लस टू ओके सो सेट बी is minus 2 and minus 3 and the set a is 2 and 3 equal sets no so here a is not equal to b okay students next is second part of question number 5 here is student it is given a a is a letter in the word follow so it is a o l and here w okay i have been written set a in a listing form and b is given w o l f so it is w o l and f and now c a and b are equal or not these are equal set since they both have same and equal elements so a is equal to b here okay students you complete your homework up to exercise 1.2 with illustrations okay